back in 2018, was Mr. Gomez ordered to pay child support? Yes, ma'am. And that was in the amount of $1,140 a month? Yes, ma'am. Has he gotten behind on that child support? Yes, ma'am, he has. How much do you make an hour? Uh, 22, ma'am. Do you have any other minor children? Yes, ma'am. How many? Oh, I have three, but I have two that are older and I have one that uh, she's yes. only three. Okay. And does that, um, does that child live with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So the three-year-old lives with you? Yes. And the other two are already over the age of 18? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So the state is asking me to adjust the child support because apparently Mr. Gomez is now making a little bit less more money than he was making from the prior to the last order, okay? Okay. The child support needs to be adjusted. I don't know why it was set the way it was set back in 2018, but I mean, obviously you're not making enough money at this point in time, Mr. Gomez, to support, uh, you know, $1,140 a month in child support. The court's going to find the court's jurisdiction. The court's going to find that there has been a material substantial change of circumstance. Uh, I'm going to base this child support on $3,813 a month, giving Mr. Gomez credit for one other dependent. I'm going to order Ms. Gomez to maintain the current health insurance that she has on her children. Uh, my calculations are that Mr. Gomez's child support should be adjusted down to $695 per month. However, I'm going to increase the medical support because that was set way too low. Um, that medical support increase is going to go up to $120 a month. And those figures will be effective July the 1st of 2022. Um, the state of Texas is asking for judgments in this case. Those will be granted as of May 31st, 2022. I'll find that Mr. Gomez is behind in his child support, the amount of $17,805.87. And his medical support arrears are $18.12. I'm going to order additional support to be paid toward those arrears at a rate of $100 a month and the medical support arrears at $5 a month. Those payments will also begin July 1st, 2022. Um, Mr. Gomez will be responsible for the court cost for the filing of the suit, but I will give him until December 31st of 2022 to pay my court cost. Mr. Gomez, do you have any questions about my ruling today? Uh, so what's going to be the total amount that I'll be paying monthly? Looks like $920 a month. Okay. Well, I don't understand how I'm supposed to live off of that. Uh, I like right now. Because I'm you're $17,000 behind in child support, Mr. Gomez, then it has to be paid back. Okay. And uh, Medicaid's not free. Right. Yes, sir. In fact, I gave you a good discount on the Medicaid. I ought to be charging you almost $700 a month for the Medicaid. Sir, yes, sir. Any other questions, Mr. Gomez? Sir, no, sir. This court is going to call cause number F227549. This is in the 279th District Court of Jefferson County, Texas, and it's in the interest of Marlena and Ty Gomez. Um, Ms. Gomez and Mr. Gomez and any other witnesses that are going to testify, please raise your right hands. Mr. Gomez, if you want to testify, you have to raise your right hand. Okay. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Sir, yes, sir. I do, yes. All right, y'all can all put your hands down. Ms. Brown Zito, you said that you were handling this case for state? Yes, sir. All right, this appears to be a motion that you filed on April the 19th of 2022? Yes, sir. All right, you can call your first witness. Your Honor, this time I would call Ms. Gomez. Will you please state your name? Esther Gomez, Esther Angelica Gomez. And uh, we are here today to talk about your children, Marlena and Ty, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And back, back in 2018, was Mr. Gomez ordered to pay child support? Yes, ma'am. And that was in the amount of $1,140 a month? Yes, ma'am. Has he gotten behind on that child support? Yes, ma'am, he has. Your Honor, at this time, I would offer the pay record in this case. Ms. Gomez. Oh, wait. There we go. 
Ms. Gomez, I placed on the screen now a copy of the alleged pay record between you and Mr. Gomez. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Yes, sir. Mr. Gomez, the same question. Is it okay if I look at this pay record? Sir, yes, sir. Thanks, Exhibit A is admitted into evidence. Ms. Gomez, have there been any payments for child support that Mr. Gomez has given to you that are not did not come from the state disbursement unit or through the attorney general's office? No, ma'am. Has have either of the children gone to live with him for any extended period of time since the last order? No, ma'am. Okay. Do the children have uh, health insurance? They're on Medicaid. Do you know uh, if Mr. Gomez has any other minor children? Um, I'm, I'm not 100% positive, but I think he has one other. Do you know if that child lives with him? No, I don't. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, I, I would pass this. Oh, I, no, I, I do have another question. Do you have safety concerns if your um, address were put in this order? No, ma'am. Okay. I would pass this witness, Your Honor. Call your next witness. I would call Mr. Gomez. Will you please state your name? Yeah, Adolfo Camacho Gomez. And we're here today to talk about uh, your child support amount. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma yes, ma'am. Do you uh, agree with Ms. Gomez that there's been no direct payments that you've made to her for child support? Not direct to her, but I've made payments like to the San Antonio department. Okay. And did you see that any of those payments were not on this pay record? Uh, the way it's on the screen, I can't really see it, the okay. amount. Okay. Uh, do you, are you working? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. And where do you work? I work for a Transglobal Solution. And do you get paid hourly? Uh, ma'am, yes, ma'am. How much do you make an hour? Uh, 22, ma'am. Do you work 40 hours a week? Uh, sometimes 40 hours a week. Is it usually 40 hours a week? It's supposed to be 40 hours a week, but majority of the time it's 40 hours a week, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Do you yeah. have opportunity for um, overtime? No, ma'am. This is a set schedule, and that's that's it. Okay. Eight out, eight hours every day, Monday through Friday. Do you have uh, health insurance available to you where you work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you know how much it would cost to put the children on that health insurance? Of my understanding, I think that I already do have the insurance for my children. You have health insurance that you're paying for through your employer? No, ma'am. This okay. is a, a different. Okay. That's what that's what I was asking if you knew how much oh, okay. it would cost through your employer to, to cover them. Oh, no, ma'am. I, I don't really know. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any other minor children? Yes, ma'am. How many? Oh, I have three. But I have two that are older, and I have one that's uh, she's yes. only three. Okay, and does that um, does that child live with you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the three year old lives with you. Yes. And the other two are already over the age of eighteen. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Your Honor, I would pass this witness, and I have no other uh, witnesses to call.
Oh. So, Ms. Gomez, so the state is asking me to adjust the child support because apparently Mr. Gomez is now making a little bit less more money than he was making from the prior to the last order, okay? Okay. All right. Is there anything else, Ms. Gomez, you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? No, Your Honor, I really, there's nothing else I, I can say. <laughs> All right. Mr. Gomez, is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? Yeah, no, Your Honor. Huh. Well, I mean, the child support needs to be adjusted. I don't know why it was set the way it was set back in 2018, but I mean, obviously you're not making enough money at this point in time, Mr. Gomez, to support, uh, you know, $1,140 a month in child support. The court's going to find the court has jurisdiction. The court's going to find that there has been a material substantial change of circumstance. Uh, I'm going to base this child support on $3,813 a month, giving Mr. Gomez credit for one other dependent I'm going to order Ms. Gomez to maintain the current health insurance that she has on her children. Uh, my calculations are that Mr. Gomez's child support should be adjusted down to $695 per month. However, I'm going to increase the medical support because that was set way too low. Um, the medical support increase is going to go up to $120 a month. And those figures will be effective July the 1st of 2022. Um, the state of Texas is asking for judgments in this case. Those will be granted as of May 31st, 2022. I'll find that Mr. Gomez is behind in his child support, the amount of $17,805.87, and his medical support arrears are $18.12. I'm going to order additional support to be paid toward those arrears at a rate of $100 a month, and the medical support arrears are $5 a month. Those payments will also begin July 1st, 2022. Um, Mr. Gomez will be responsible for the court cost for the filing of the suit, but I will give him until December 31st of 2022 to pay my court cost. Uh, any request for non-disclosure in this case is denied. If I didn't order it, I am ordering Ms. Gomez to maintain the current health insurance that she has on the children. Uh, Ms. Uh, Overstreet or Ms. Uh, Brown Zito, does that take care of all the issues in this case? I believe it does. All right. Mr. Gomez, Ms. Gomez, they're going to send me an order. As long as it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and send it back to them. And then they're going to make a copy of it and they're going to send it to each of you. Mr. Gomez, do you have any questions about my ruling today? Uh, so what's going to be the total amount that I'll be paying monthly? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Looks like $920 a month. Okay. Well, I don't understand how I'm supposed to live off of that. Uh, like right that, now. Because you're $17,000 behind in child support, Mr. Gomez, and then it has to be paid back. Okay. And uh, Medicaid's not free. Right. Yes, sir. In fact, I gave you a good discount on the Medicaid. I ought to be charging you almost $700 a month for the Medicaid. Sir, yes, sir. Any other questions, Mr. Gomez? Sir, no, sir. Mr. Gomez, you always have the right to discontinue that Medicaid payment, but that means you're going to have to go out and get health insurance through your employer. I think you're probably going to find that that's probably going to cost you four or $500 a month, but that's up to you if that's what you wish to do. Sir, yes, sir. Ms. Gomez, you got any questions about my ruling today? 